Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at the ASICS Cumulus 26. And ASICS has made a few changes over version 25, but there's one change in particular that I'm really excited to tell you about. Let's get into it. First of all, the disclosures. This video is in partnership with my friends over at Roadrunner Sports. Roadrunner Sports was good enough to send me a pair of the Cumulus 26 for the purpose of review. However, they haven't told me what to say. They don't have any editorial privileges and all the thoughts and opinions are my own. With that said, the ASICS Gel Cumulus 26 will cost you $140. And of course, I will place a link in the show notes below in case you want to pick up a pair from yourself from Roadrunner Sports. Now, the Gel Cumulus 26 is the little brother of ASICS Premium Daily Trainer, the Gel Nimbus 26. And you know what? These shoes are actually pretty similar. However, the Gel Nimbus 26 is just a little bit higher end. And it doesn't seem like it when you're looking at the Gel Cumulus 26 until you have them both in your hand. But there are several aspects of the Gel Nimbus 26 that ASICS has rolled into the Cumulus 26. But in some ways, I think I like the Cumulus 26 better. Oh, and by the way, the Nimbus 26 is $160. So $140 is a much better price. Okay, the Cumulus 26 has 38 and a half millimeters in the heel, 30 and a half in the forefoot for an eight millimeter drop. ASICS claims that a US men's size nine would tip the scale at 8.9 ounces or 253 grams. However, in my size, a US men's size 13, it tips the scale at 11.4 ounces or 323 grams. Now, if you were considering the Cumulus 26, but you were also considering the Gel Nimbus 26, I've got to tell you that in my size, the Nimbus 26 is 50 grams or 15.5% heavier than the Cumulus 26. So the Cumulus 26 is actually pretty light. I mean, relatively speaking, for a daily trainer. The Cumulus 26 is a neutral daily trainer. There are no stability elements built in and it does fit true to size. I think my main complaint, and I'll tell you right off the bat, is the colorway. I think this black and white colorway is just a little boring, but that doesn't really affect the shoe. Maybe you love the black and white colorway. Anyway, let's get started at the top and work our way down. We do have a good padded heel collar. Now, this heel collar, it's difficult to see. It looks like a traditional daily trainer heel collar, but it's kind of padded at the top and it tapers in at the bottom, making it more like a bolster as we come around. I found that gave my heel a good lockdown. The heel counter is very rigid. I mean, there is, there's no pushing this down. Again, this is what we would expect in a daily trainer. And because of this padding and this heel counter, I didn't experience any heel slip. I didn't have to use the heel lock eyelet right here. I just had a good fit overall. The upper is an engineered mesh. It's fairly thick. Now, because I haven't been testing this shoe during the summertime, it's difficult to say how breathable this is. I think by looking at it and by manipulating it, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be very breathable in the heat of summer, but I think it's right in line with what we can expect from daily trainers generally. They seem to have uppers that are pretty resilient and seem to me to be made more to stand the test of time. Like you're not gonna wear a hole in this upper. There aren't many overlays, but there are several underlays on this shoe. We have a little bit of reinforcement coming at the bottom of the upper here, right next to the midsole foam. An underlay coming around the toe box just to keep it off your foot. And then the reinforcement along the eyelet chain, which when I feel it, it's got like an overlay and an underlay, making it almost feel like it's plasticky, but it's not. It's just basics reinforcing that. So when you cinch it down, you're not gonna pull through the eyelet. Cumulus 26 has a knit tongue and it is gusseted on both sides. And there is a lace loop right here at the top. I didn't experience any tongue migration in the Cumulus 26. Now this knit tongue has a solid knit area right at the top and that's right where you're going to be tying that bow and clearly this knit part of the tongue is so you don't get any lace bite when you tie the knot. The aerated tongue further down just provides breathability and really I've got no issues with the tongue except the same issue that I had with the Gel Nimbus 26 and that is this knit is fairly stretchy and when I put my foot in and I pull the tongue up it almost seems like the tongue has a little too much give and it seems to come up a little high for me. Now this didn't translate into any problems when I was running I just thought it kind of looked good when I'm kind of put my foot in and then trying to pull it up and it comes up so high. But maybe that's me. Maybe you like a high tongue. Anyway, it didn't impact the running at all. Coming down to the midsole, ASICS is using their Flight Foam Blast Plus, which is a solid foam, not very inspiring, but it definitely does the job. And then we've got a little circle of pure gel right here in the heel, and that's gonna to contribute to soft landings and smooth transitions. Oh, there is an Ortholite X30 sock liner, and that is fully removable in case you wanna pull it out and put in your own orthotics. And then while we're on the sock liner, I can see that ASICS has printed their carbon footprint. The Cumulus uses 9.4 kilograms of CO2 in the production of the shoe. And actually that is 35% lower than the industry standard. So ASICS really has their eye on the ball when it comes to environmental concerns. Okay, we've talked about the upper, we've talked about the midsole. Am I missing anything? Yes, I am missing something. I'm missing my favorite part of the Cumulus 26. And that is this new fluid ride rubberized EVA outsole. Well, actually it's part of the midsole, but it is a separate layer from the Flight Foam Blast Plus. And if I hold it up, you can see it's just a gray and the midsole is white. This is new, it's fluid ride. And yes, it's a rubberized EVA outsole. And look, I love a rubberized rubberized EVA outsoles. It makes the footfalls very soft. It's nice and quiet to run in. It feels really good. The only downside, and I have found this on every shoe that I've ever run in with a rubberized EVA 
outsole, and that is that durability is reduced. And as of the making of this video, I have 43 miles in my pair of Cumulus 26, and I can see quite a bit of wear here on my lateral heel, but also up here on the forefoot. Of course, it does make me wonder, is durability actually less or is it normal? And because a rubberized EVA is a less dense material, it's going to show the wear, but there is a lot of it on the bottom of this shoe. So perhaps it is made to wear down and this shoe will last an average amount of miles. I think that is probably the case. And when I think to myself that durability is going to be reduced because of this rubberized EVA outsole, I think it's only because the wear is a lot more apparent than it is when there is actual rubber on the outsole. Now, as far as the ride goes, I actually enjoyed running in the shoe. And that's a funny thing to say for a daily trainer, but the shoe is remarkably comfortable. In fact, I took it out of the box and I went out for a 20 mile run and the shoe was comfortable the entire time. I didn't have any hot spots. Just let me knock out the run without thinking about the shoe on my foot. And I think that's a key point when we're picking a daily trainer. I already said the midsole isn't that inspiring. And by that, I mean, it's not very responsive, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. This isn't a shoe that you're gonna go race in. It isn't a shoe that you're gonna go and knock out big workouts like intervals or tempo runs. This is the shoe that you're gonna go for a recovery run, for easy runs, you know, those, those bread and butter runs that you do every week. And even though this Flight Foam Blast Plus isn't the most soft foam out there, I would never call it firm, but it's not like super plush. I think this rubberized EVA outsole, the new Fluid Ride outsole, makes the ride exceedingly comfortable. Like I would take this shoe out on any 20 mile run that I was gonna do. Now in my testing period, I didn't go out, I didn't run any workouts in it, but I did do strides at the end of several easy runs. And it's exactly what you would think. The shoe picks up the pace well, although I wouldn't wanna hold on to those paces for longer intervals than strides. All in all for $140, the Asics Geo Cumulus 26 is a comfortable and reliable shoe. And honestly, for the runs that this shoe is designed for, can't really ask for more than that. Okay, I wanna hear from you. Have you run in any of the Cumulus? Have you run in any of the Nimbus? If not, what is your daily trainer of choice? Go ahead and drop a comment and let me know. Just a reminder, I'll place a link in the show notes below in case you wanna pick up a pair of the Cumulus 26 for yourself. And I would just like to ask if you have liked this video, if you found it entertaining or informative, consider subscribing to the channel and leave a like on this video. And with that, it's Matt B. This has been my review of A6 Gel Cumulus 26. Be kind, be happy, run well. I'll see you in a couple of days. Thank you.